Um, the okay. Um, I generally don't like to pay people less than whatever they've been earning in the past. At Under 40 CEOs, we really do care not just about empowering the next generation of business leaders, but about securing the future of young men and women who work with us to deliver on the vision. We speak to a number of our Under 40 CEOs who are leading the charge in not just empowering their team, but securing their future. You really should hear them out and learn not only to take care of your team, but also secure their future. So the next time they ask, who cares? Just tell them, under 40 CEOs care. Hi, my name is Fade Ogunro and I am the CEO of BookinsAfrica.com. Bookins Africa is an online marketplace that's pioneering digital work across Africa. We're based out of Nigeria, South Africa, and Kenya, and you can book over 25 various service providers. We have over 10,000 service providers offering 25 different professions on our platform, and you can utilize our video call feature to actually book these service providers. The way that I ensure that my staff are safe when they are at work, um, of course everyone's been working remotely these days, but they, when they do come to the office, um, we've got health and safety practices. Um, every new member of staff has to be onboarded, and that also includes going through the health and safety regime um, that we employ in the building, um, as well as um, those that live quite far away. I also make sure that um, they leave the office earlier especially as a young woman, um, it might not be safe for them to go home later. The way I determine how staff are paid is based on their skill sets, their expertise, um, their latent skill sets, as well as what they've taught themselves and how they're constantly iterating and improving themselves. Um, I also practically look at what they've been paid prior. And then I talk about what their vision is for their life themselves. And I try to make sure that my goals, my business goals also aligns with their life goals and I try to see if I can help ameliorate that and fast track that. Um, I generally don't like to pay people less than whatever they've been earning in the past. The benefits that my staff currently enjoy, um, so internally we actually have a little um, scheme that we call spend an hour. So BA spend an hour where all the Bookings Africa staff have to spend one hour complimentary utilizing the Bookings Africa platform. So we have a few of the development developers that like to have a fitness instructor, vir a virtual fitness session. Um, they have that once a month for free. Um, a couple of my other female, um, younger female staff, they actually are doing cooking classes. Um, so we actually give this away complimentary to all staff. So um, that's just a couple of the perks, as well as we have um, personal development goals. Every quarter, every staff member has to write down and declare what they would like to learn in that quarter um, as a part of their own personal development goals. If they hit other KPIs, then the business actually takes care and pays for that personal development goal, whether you want to learn a new language, you want to, um, I don't know, learn how to drive, whatever it may be, we try to support the staff. The future plans for my staff, generally um, retention, <laughs> that's always important, but then also expansion. Um, we will be expanding the team as we scale to a variety of countries across sub-Saharan Africa. Um, what is stopping us now, one, well, there is the technical aspect of it, which is we can't scale to these other countries until we've hit the targets that we've set for Nigeria, South Africa, and Kenya, then we can roll out to other countries. Um, and then also, um, Corona, it's not that easy to travel um, right now as well as hire remotely because I like to feel the pulse of the new hires and I like to be there myself personally. So until the borders open up, then um, that will become a lot more flexible. I do currently have a retirement plan for my staff. Um, we are currently using um, ARM pensions and swear to God, this is not even a plug. Um, my head of operations um, 
she was the one that gave me a, bun a variety of different companies um, that we should look at. And she came to me and said, after discussing and looking in depth and analyzing, um, she believes that ARM pensions had the best offer, um, the most affordable. And um, I just said, go ahead, to be honest. I didn't even bother looking at the competitions because I trust her competency and her judgment. Um, so we decided to go with them. And I think it's very important for everyone to have a retirement plan. However, we issue the Bookings Africa pension plans after six months of working with us full time and once certain KPIs have been met. The future for my team, I believe, is looking amazing. Um, we've just been hiring a few new members of the team to join uh, the Nigerian employees here um, and getting to know them better, getting to execute more getting to deliver i think as a whole the team are looking forward to it and especially rolling out the new tech solutions that we'll know will have a lot of impact across sub-saharan africa i believe they've bought into the vision of the business and we're all really looking forward to the future and how we can actually positively change our continent Retirement Savings Account Transfer, i.e. RSA Transfer, is the transfer of an individual's retirement savings account from one pension fund administrator to another. It is usually processed via the RSA Transfer System, usually referred to as the RTS. 